I was tagged by my man, Mr. Cheap Sense, to do this um, Hall of Fame list, all right? I got five for you. Stay tuned. Find out what's on that list. Big and sick, Back to doing another video. Sam Broom. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Sam Broom. Welcome back. Listen, if you like the content that I'm providing to you guys, I know it's kind of sparingly, but if you like the content that I'm providing for you guys, don't forget to hit that like button and the notification button as well as subscribe all right if you like the content if not hey there's plenty other people out there that's probably right up your alley but anyway let's get into it i got five for you okay so check this out as i was pulling out these fragrances i was talking to my man trey and i i want to try to make it a little bit different i don't want to pull out the same fragrances that everybody else did that, that did the tag video as i was talking to trey about it I wanted to try to pull out some fragrances again that no one else had did. And I think I got the right five, okay? Now, to me, this whole five or this Hall of Fame list that I'm doing, I kind of want it to be fragrances that influence others. Um, to me, that's what a Hall of Fame player or Hall of Fame anything does. It's so good and so right for the world that it influences everything else that comes behind it all right and i think these five do just that the majority of them except for one you can you can you can say are all designers i didn't put any niche in this in this list they're all pretty much designers except for one which is my all-time favorite so we're gonna get right into the list all right. starting at the number five spot by prada and it's not the one that everybody think of. It's not. It's not Prada, um, Luna Rosa Sport, or Luna Rosa Sport, or Luna Rosa Carbon. It's not that. It's not. It's not Pro Ohm or, or what is it? Uh, Prada Ohm. It's not that one. It's this one right here. Infusion de Ohm. All right. Classic scent. Classic scent. You got Neroli, Iris, Cedar, powdery notes. A elegant soapy scent so whenever you go to, to buy a Prada uh, a Prada fragrance you always get that soapy vibe that clean soapy vibe this is a trendsetter Hall of Fame Infusion de Om by Prada lovely lovely scent oh my god so good smell like a, a really really expensive soap that you can get from a high-end five-star hotel or um, some five-star restaurant that you go to that has those guys sitting in the in the bathroom and ready to hand you a paper towel and things like that so this is the type of fragrance that you're going to get when you go or, or type of scent that you're going to get from those high-end stores or high-end um, hotels um, when you're dealing with their soaps and stuff like that Prada Infusion Dion that's number five spot this fragrance definitely influenced some fragrances out there and again the whole Prada line you can say has that same dna in it or some sort some sort of that dna in it all right some parts of the dna that's what i should say mixing my words up the next one needs no introduction this is probably one of the most hyped fragrances on the market to this day all right and it's still talked about heavily isl lenny meet the all right cardamom is what you're gonna get out of this. You get some cardamom, you get some lavender, some vetiver. This batch, this is an older batch. I have two bottles. They do they have two different um two different batch codes. And I'm gonna see if I can get the batch code up in up in there now. So you can see it. Let me see if I can turn it around or something. I'm just trying to get it focused on. I don't know. It might not get focused, but these are older batches, all right. I bought these in particular from um the store near me and I was looking down where they had dust on them and I just let me get those but anyway this influenced a lot of fragrances as well a lot of fragrances had that cardamom in it this is so so nice man this oh my god influenced things like Ferragamo F Black 
um, also like um, Lavon, um, um, Lavin, Avant Garde, which is uh, a fragrance that smells very similar to this. Um, there's one by Penn Halligan's, and it's called, um, I think it's called like Love Number no. Nine or something like that, that has that cardamom vibe to it as well. And of course, like Halloween, um, um, Halloween Man shot. All right, so definitely influence. Um, very, very, probably one of the top date night scents on the market that you're gonna get. All right, very hyped, very talk. Well, I'm not, I'm not gonna say hyped, but very good in this in this heyday. Very good. It's hard pressed to find somebody that collected fragrances or somebody that liked fragrances that didn't like this fragrance or had this fragrance in their collection. YSL and you went alone. Dope scent, still dope to this day. Look for those old bottles if you can find them. If you can find them, go ahead and snatch them up. This one influenced companies or fragrances like um, Valentino Umo. It also, um, you got one by Zara. I think it's like 9.0 or something like that. Um, Armaf, Fatula Laon, things like that. I'm talking about, oh, uh, the Iris makes sense. Prada, Laon. This Dior own. It's a classic. It's a classic. It started so much. It's it's behind um, a lot of fragrances these days. Oh, man. That lipstick is prominent in this one too. It's so in your face. But can't beat this man. Hall of Fame. Again, I'm looking at things that influence the fragrance world. And this was definitely one of them. All right, in my book, in my opinion, in my opinion, this is definitely one of the ones that started. Um, I'm gonna say some trouble. All right, that's what the old school has would say back in the days, starting that trouble. But I'm saying good trouble though. All right, definitely do your own. All right, you're getting in this cacao, iris, leather. Three notes is basically what you what you're getting out of this. Still, still nice to this day. The original, your own, all right. And I got the small bottle because I don't need, I don't need a lot. I had too many fragrances in my collection as it is. And I was just watching Jay Royal's um, video about you don't need all of these, which is definitely the truth, all right. Now, next one. <sighs> this is how it came out when it. This is the bottle that it came out in when it first hit the market, and this is Reeve Gosh. This thing right here, oh my God. Oh, I don't like to spray it too much because this is only a 2.5. I still got a lot of juice in it, but I don't got none in my hand. Let's, let's spray this on the hand. Oh my God, I love this scent. Oh my God. Barbershop scent to the core. Rosemary, geranium, oak moss, vetiver, This is classic Reeve Gosh. This is so dope. So dope. I'm glad I, I got it in. I'm, I still have that canister, man. This is classy right here. It's classic. All right. Reeve Gosh. Last one. You can say this in the niche world. Very expensive nowadays. You can't get it for. You don't even find it at discounters. I haven't in a while. When I did purchase it, I did catch it at a retailer. I mean, a, a wholesaler or discounter. And I bought two bottles. Everybody pretty much knew the story. I bought two bottles. One was in the box. One was, was, was not in the box. I was going, moving some stuff around. Must have hit the bottle by mistake or hit another bottle. And this bottle fell off the shelf and shattered. And I miss it. Because I wanted that backup bottle. This, this is my go-to when it comes to like classy events, upscale events. I normally go with this one here. It's by Hubagant and it's Fujia Royale. All right, classy, classy, classy scent. Um, Bracket Man by Amraj. You got um, Pasha Cartier. Um, you have Van Cleef and Arpels, um, Tars. So it influenced a lot. 
this thing was created way back in the day. It's probably one of the first <laughs> first colognes or one of the first ones to actually do it. And it was remade um, recently within the, like the 2000s or whatever. But it was redone. This was made in 2010. It actually came out in 2010. And I'm going to tell you right now. Classy, classy, classy scent. This is so dope. It's so ill. I love it. Love it to death. All right. This thing right here is everything to me. I have this and I have um, a travel atomizer as well. But other than that, this is my last bottle. And I'm going to cherish the hell out of it because I can't find it. All right. One day, hopefully, I'll find it on discounters and I'll buy a couple bottles. All right. But this is, again, by Hubergant through JR Royale. All right. I know I used to chop this name up all the time. I had to study the way I say it. Jer Royale. I got it now. All right. But that was my five Hall of Famers, man. I want to thank my boy Keith and, and Trey for tagging me in this video. I know they trade, they, they tag JP and some other guys. So I'm going to tag two people. I'm going to tag two myself. I'm going to tag Ross Carlos from TLTG. I'm going I'm to tag my man Equality Sense. Let me see. I might get. Let me see if I can get one more involved in this. Let me see if I can get one more. Um, so I said Ross, my man, Equality Sense. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let's go with Chad from the Gentleman's Journey because he has a lot of um, the common, I'm, I'm gonna call it the common man fragrances, fragrances that everybody can purchase, anybody can purchase. And I know he got a lot of classy ones in there, or classic ones that started some stuff or actually need to be retired or can be retired and put in that Hall of Fame. So I'm going with Chad from a gentleman from Gentleman's Journey. So Gentleman's Journey, Chad, Ross, TLTG, and my man Equality Sense. All right, those are the three I'm gonna tag, fellas. You're up. I want to see your Hall of Fame five. All right. And I know Equality Sense will come with that dope stuff, so I'm ready for I'm I'm, I'm ready and willing, or I'm gonna be tuned to it. Got it? It's your boy Sam Boom signing off. Peace. Big and sick, Sam Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Back to doing another video. Sam Boom. <laughs>